Welcome lovers, I don't know what I'm doing, but you probably already knew that. And welcome back to another story time. This is a story that I wanted to tell a while ago, but it just kind of fell under other things I wanted to do, so I'm gonna tell it now. So a good while ago, like over a year ago, when I was uh, still dating my last boyfriend and living in like two apartments ago, something like that, uh, me and my boyfriend at the time and Lobo all decided that we wanted to go to the 24-hour H-E-B and get some snacks and whatever. I think it was just snacks. I don't think we actually needed anything. So we get in my car and we head out and I'm driving us around to get to the H-E-B. I didn't know uh, there was a back way to get there that I just hadn't realized at the time, so I ended up going around so I'd have to get onto the, uh, the freeway before going into the parking lot. So I get to that little stop right before the freeway, the, the exit where you merge into the lane. And I was sitting there and watching the cars go because, you know, you kind of have to wait until there's not a car for safety. But I was sitting there for a good two, three minutes. I was watching very carefully, being like, okay, they're still in my way, they're still in my way. If I go now, it's not safe. And then finally, there's like no cars in my lane coming this way. Note the in my lane part. <laughs> cause I'm just going to the first lane right there cause the AGB is like right down. Doesn't take long to get there. So I go out, I turn into the freeway and then like two seconds after I get out there's this like blaring honk of a car behind me that not only did not have his blinker on but changed lanes like after I started getting in it in the first place <laughs> which was annoying and irritated the crap out of me and I was really manic at the time with some of my anxiety stuff so I was already like yeah like anything could have upset me at that point so I was just trying to not get overly upset over something that didn't matter that much that was obviously not my fault so I was like okay fine whatever we pull in go into the HEB I noticed that that car also pulls into the HEB so instead of immediately parking like I could have, I went around a couple of the parking lanes so that I wouldn't have to deal with this person. Because I just have a feeling that if we park in the same area, I'm going to have to deal with this person. So I drive around for a while and then eventually uh, stop and park and we get out to go inside. And we're walking inside and we hear a dude yelling about something. But we assume it's not directed at us, because we don't know anyone in this parking lot. So we go inside the store, and as soon as we like get through the second set of doors, this guy comes up behind us, he's like, hey you! And we're just like, what the fuck? Who, who is this man? He's like a 40-something year old man, just like getting all aggravated, and we have no idea why or what's going on. And he like looks at me, is like, were you driving? And I was like, Yes? And then this... I kid you not, he then gets in my fucking face. I'm like... I'm like 20 years old. Half his height. And he's just like this... He gets up in my face. It's like, do you have any idea how dangerous what you did was? That was so stupid. You're a reckless driver. You could have crash you could have made us crash you almost made us crash you could have gotten in a lot of trouble it would have been your fault all this kind of like shit like getting in my face <sighs> when it was really 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 obviously in no way my fault that he almost hit me because again he didn't have his blinker on he wasn't in my lane and he started changing lanes after I had already started going out and it was not my fault, it was his. But he's like almost yelling in my fucking face. And there's like a guy, a, a, an H-E-B worker standing like right over here by the door and he's like not sure what to do but like about to fucking intervene because he like very obviously can tell that I'm like shutting down. And this guy is standing in a very, like, threatening manner. <laughs> like, I wasn't, like, visibly upset. I was just, like, because I had been so manic, I just shut down. So I was just standing there, like, mm-hmm. Okay. Like, I was very 
blank. <laughs> Which obviously made him more upset. It's like, do you even care? Like, he legitimately at one point was like, do you even care that we could have gotten in a wreck? Somebody could have been hurt. It would have been your fault. And <laughs> Lobo is standing here about to fucking punch the guy because he's getting in my space and very obviously trying to intimidate me and it's pissing him off. And, <laughs> and Giannis is just like very calm, very collected steps between me and the guy because Giannis is a lot taller than me. So he's like face to face with the guy. So it's not like a can threaten him kind of situation. He steps between us and, go and goes, yeah, we're sorry about that. We didn't see you. Mm-hmm. Oh, so sorry. Uh-huh, well, be careful from now on. Like, very obviously overly friendly, I don't give a shit what you're saying to me kind of expression and tone of voice. He's like, well, all right then. And he, like, goes to shake his hand and Giannis lifts up his left hand because the direction we're facing, it makes, the, it makes sense. And he's like, oh, don't shake me with your left hand. Shaking hands with your left hand means you're not sincere and not serious. And Giannis is listening to this guy babble on about how, how if somebody shakes, tries to shake your hand with their left hand that it's psychologically proven that it's insincere, even though that it's complete bullshit, which I would know because I've studied psychology for years and there are left-handed people and just so many reasons, it was dumb. But he was like, you know what, fine. He lifted up his other hand, he shook his hand, and then we just like stood there and stared at him till he finally fucking walked away. And then the, <laughs> the dude, the worker, the H-E-B guy just walked up to us like very nervous and cautious, like, are you guys okay? Do you want me to call security on that guy? What, what happened? And we're just like, no, we're fine. He did, it's, it was just a dumbass. <laughs> It's like a dumbass adult that decided to approach a bunch of young adults and get in their face over something that wasn't even our fault. It was, it's over, it's done, it doesn't matter. But <laughs> me being in the weird, manic, out of sorts way that my brain was at the time, I was completely fine. But then when the guy asked if we were okay, my whole body just went, I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> like, I, I didn't because I'm good at not crying if I want to not cry, but like my whole body just decided we should cry now. So I was like, fuck. I was just standing there obviously starting to tear up and like the red bits on my face started showing up and the guy was like, are you sure you're okay? I was like, I'm fine. And it was a really ridiculous situation. And then we go through the store to get our shit and I was like, oh, I gotta go to the, aisle over to get what I came here to grab and the, and I go over there and the guy's fucking standing right where I need to get my shit so I was like nope fuck this so I went back to the other two we walked around some more and then I went to get my shit because I didn't want to deal with that guy again so yeah that's the story of the time I interacted with a I don't even know what to call that kind of person just I don't know a childish adult Cause that's all I can really think to call it, is just a really childish adult. It, <laughs> it was weird, but I figured I'd share that story with you because it was stupid. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, that is perfectly fine and perfectly okay, but hopefully I'll see you in the next one anyway. Until then, I hope your day is just as lovely as you are. So, bye bye Are you on a low budget? Because I'm free. <laughs>